Alrighty, hi everyone. We are going to do spy knee today. Very simple, very easy, fun little pattern to do. Looks like it might be complex when you look at the uh, at the sample, especially if you're looking at it kind of like at a distance. It looks all fuzzy and interesting. Very easy to do. So step one, we're going to make our arms of our little shape however many you want. Like the sample shows it just with the four like this and then four more or five more or whatever. One, two, three, four, five. That one's got started with four kind of coming out in different directions and then five more. Okay. Can, can be as many or as few as you want. And then in the middle here, you want to kind of fill this middle bit in. Um, so that it has a dark center. Okay. And then all you do after you have that part is you go along this arm and you put little dots on both sides and then you're done. That's it. Simple, but it makes this wonderful sort of, uh, undersea creature, uh, sort of a starfishy kind of a thing. Super simple to do. I'm going to turn on my light. Got myself a little green piece of paper because I thought green sounded like fun. I'm just gonna dive right in. Um, I think I'm gonna actually draw it um, with a, not that one. That's, that's not the size I wanted. I want it. Oh, oh, five. Not. This one. I wanted this size. My smallest tipped pen that I have, I, that's what I'm going to draw the arm part with because I want that really delicate. So I'm just going to start here and kind of do that. And then I'm going to come and fill in as much as I want there like that. That looks good. Organic shape. And then in the middle, we're just going to kind of, kind of fill in between like this very delicately. You don't want it too fat, I don't think, but you do want a kind of a solid center. So I'm just going to fill in between the arms, kind of bring it out this way just a little bit. The center of these arms is a little fatter and it kind of creates like a body for the creature. Starfishy kind of creature. Trying to be very delicate and not get too carried away with what's going on here so you don't lose where each arm is. You know what I mean? There we go. Now it looks a little rough when you're looking at it super up close like this. But when you zoom out, that's better. Okay. And then I'm just going to take maybe an 03 size pen. Let me zoom me back in. And I am just going to
dot along here and then come back in and dot along the other side that's it let's see which one can you see you can see that one okay Super simple. Okay, and then this one. I should do a question. Let's see. If you could have one person from history live his or her full life over again, starting now, who would you pick? Hmm. Interesting question. I like this book. Their questions are very intriguing, much better than, than the questions I had with that game that I was doing before. Um... Martin Luther King. I think we are not yet in a place where we should be with race relation. And I think I think if he grew up Starting now, um, I think his message, I think it would still be the same, but he might address groups slightly differently and maybe, maybe some people would get it more than they have. We're, we're still not there. And I mean for all races. And I mean for all races um, amongst each other as well. I mean, not just black and white relations, but I mean relations between all various ethnic groups. Hispanics and Asians and just everyone. I don't think we're, I don't think we're where we need to be in, in, uh, in treating each other as equal people. We are still racist as a nation. And I'm counting myself in that as well. I, I am not where I need to be. And I, I totally admit it. And I'm embarrassed about it. But at the same time, I know it's something we need to work on. And not just myself, but the whole nation. And if you don't think that's true, then I don't think you're really paying attention to the world. Because I have seen some really nasty comments white to black black to white black to hispanic hispanic to others i i I've, it's it's not on it's not within one culture it's not within one race um it's just not it's all over so all right that was that that's that's my rant for the day it's a very short rant because this is a short video look at oops wrong direction when you zoom out look at that look how easy that was 
And then there's this little sea creature on my page that I really like. I think I'm going to shade because I want my creature to be like standing up off the page a little bit. I'm trying to decide which direction I want it to live. I want it to live this way. I'm going to sign it here. I didn't, I didn't spell very well. I mean, that P then way rounder size, but that's okay. And then I think I'm going to put a little bit of darker and I'm going to just kind of make like some drop shadow here. is coming here you would see Trying to figure out where I would want to see the the shadow. Some of them maybe. the smudgin now I did it with a pretty dark pencil and I might be regretting that but I'm not sure and notice I didn't put it right next to the line because it's like the arms of the of the creature are not touching the ground which gives it more of a shadow behind i'm going to make it really and if it's too dark i can come back with my eraser and just erase some of that out That's not bad. There we go. And the parts where it's kind of like touching the, the sand underneath is where it's closer to the, the arm. Where the shadow is closer to the arm because like if I, if I put my finger down you almost the shadow is like really close to my finger but if I lift my finger up well of course you don't get much of a shadow because I'm using ring light but my shadow can you see a shadow like on my pencil see how it's right next to it here but when it's over here that shadow is farther away from the actual item because it's it's not touching that's the same thing here. So where the, the arm, the shadow is near the arm, then the arm is near the ground. And where the shadow is away from the arm, the arm is further up. I hope that makes some sense. I'm not sure if I'm making any sense today. Who knows if I ever make sense? Do I make sense? Anyway. Uh, 
Friday. I haven't decided, but I think there's a new pattern out that I really want to try. I've not tried it yet. I'm kind of scared to try it. It looks really cool, but it also looks super complicated. So I'm not sure what I want to do. So I'm going to give it a thought. I may maybe stop and have some lunch and then come back and give it a thought. So I will see you guys on the next video, whatever it ends up being. And um, yeah, you guys be safe. Do your best to be nice to each other and make the world a better place. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.